There you go. We have a 2002 Audi A6. We're going to be replacing an ABS control module. Um, they have a problem with them. They fail a lot. They just stop communicating with the scanner. Basically internal failure of the module. Module over here. Make sure when you get one, the rebuilt ones usually don't last too long. So we prefer getting a new one or maybe a used one. But used one, if, if you get a used one, you're basically getting pretty much the same problem as you had before. Um, so the new ones, they're not that expensive anymore. They used to be over a thousand bucks. Right now they have price, even less than that. So you could get one at good price. Joe, here you go. When you get in your module, make sure you compare the part numbers. They have to be exactly the same, letter to letter. The part numbers over here. Looks like that. And uh, before you install the module, the new module, unplug the old one and plug the new module in. Make sure that it's working correctly. Make sure your scanner communicates with it and uh, you have no error codes. The module, this is the new module. We took it off the ABS unit just to connect it over here. You see, we moved the old unit over a little bit so the new unit fits in. So we could check if it's working or not. We'll plug the scanner and we're gonna scan and see if it's working. So you gotta scan it before you install the new module. Yo, mister, I got a package for you. Alright, so it's communicating, it means the module itself is working. Scan for codes. See what it says. Oh, it's, those codes just mean she's incorrectly coded. Your rate sensor impossible, this and that. Basically, it's gonna need to be programmed after the installation. Okay, so we checked the control module. This thing is working fine. Now we're gonna take the old one off and uh, we're gonna show you how to take it off. First, you unclip the connector. The older versions of connectors only have this clip from the side, so you gotta pull it out. It's gonna push the connector upward. Then you have the clips over here. There's a little tab on the bottom of the clip. You gotta pull it up to unlock it. So basically, standing like this, this is the tab. You gotta pull it up to unlock it, and then it just pops out. Now we're gonna pull the control module out of the bracket and towards the engine a little bit. Oh, don't forget to disconnect the pressure sensor. Some of them don't have them, so we don't we, we don't remove the lines. It's easier that way. Just pull it off a little bit. At some points, the lines are soft on this side, and uh, you don't bend them too much, so it should be fine. Right, then you're gonna take a, a T20 Torx screwdriver or anything you have in there and take the module off. Basically. So now we remove the module, it pops right out. Now be very careful, don't damage any of those things in the module. You gotta align it very good. It's gonna go right in. Do not force it in. If you're forcing it in, then it means something didn't align properly and you're gonna break something. Some of the older modules, they have a electrical connector right over here on the bottom. The, the power supply for the pump. So if you have that, then you have to disconnect it and then reconnect it back. Don't forget, if you install it, it's gonna be very hard to connect it to the, to the module. Now slide the module back in, back into the bracket, make sure it aligns everywhere, make sure you don't 
get anything according to the module and other parts. Here's how you put the clips back on. Just simply slide it onto, on onto those rubber grommets and a bracket and push it in. Alright, so EBS unit is back into the spot, connect the electrical connection, and now you have to program the module. New module, ABS module, um, now we have the ABS and the traction control lights are on, because the module that we installed is not cooled correctly, and it needs, it needs adaptation. So this is what we do, so we scan it. Get those codes control module correctly coded. Please check the DTC of um, engine control module and the steering wheel angle sensor not matched. First, we're gonna code the control module. This is the number one thing you gotta do. So, we need to recode the control module. The best way to do it, well, you're gonna need a scanner for that, but I love using the vacuum. It's fr user friendly, you don't have to look up the options of the car anywhere in the manuals or anything like that. It'll give you all the options they have. Uh, you're gonna need to enter a login. See, it gives you a little pop-up screen that tells you which login you need to use. Well, this one is for uh, basic settings of the uh, stream angle sensor. Okay, so uh, for this car, Vacom software then I have the little cheat screen how to again to recode the module and it only has the see that coding the, the login that gives you the 4168 that's just to do a basic settings on like um, steering wheel control or steering wheel angle sensor and stuff like that so uh, what we do you could go to rostech.com it's right here And they have a good search engine in there where you could find it, find the login procedures and stuff like that. As you see, we printed out the login decoder. So it says uh, first, first digit is zero. Oh, yeah, by the way, you're gonna need like uh, break options and stuff like that. Uh, codes, I see they come in the codes. Um, that you could get in the trunk by the spare tire. There's a sticker with all the codes in the car, all the package and option codes. The brake code is gonna be on that sticker, so uh, you can find it on that sticker. So as you see for this one, uh, first digit would be zero. This is how the coding starts here over here. First digit is zero. Well, this car is not armored, so it's gonna be in the second digit is gonna be number seven. Um, then the brake code, this one's got a number 3 option, FN3. Uh, the engine, this is a 6 cylinder 3.0, so it will be number 9. And it is an automatic transmission, Tiptronic, so it's, it's not a CVT transmission, it's not manual, so it's going to be number 7. You put that code in, you press enter, see that little thing spinning around there? That thing means that the software is actually communicating with the control module right now. If you enter the code correctly, this thing will continue spinning. Nothing will happen, it's just spinning. It will not give you any any errors or anything like that. If this thing starts spinning when you enter the code, that means the code you entered was incorrect. So next, see that our coding is zeros. That's because it was disconnected from the car problem. Next, you go to coding. Now we'll let you change the coding on the on this thing. Same thing goes to coding. You can find it in Rostec as well. See coding is gonna be very similar to the uh, to the login but it's gonna be it's gonna be different but it's very similar. See in here it just has the 
If second digit is uh, reversed, now it's gonna be second digit is gonna be six. Uh, and now the third digit is gonna be number two because we got the FM three brakes, the 15 inch. Oh, actually, we got 16 inch. Hold on. So our thing is gonna be number four. Um, the engine is still six cylinders. It's gonna be number nine. And this one's gonna be still number seven. Same thing goes to the coating. As soon as you click enter, you should say that the coating was accepted. See, so you change the coating in this screen over here. Now our module is cold. Okay, so as soon as you put in the coating, you see on a soft coating screen, you have the coating you just put in there. It means the computer remembered it. Do not exit out of the EBS module. Do not do anything else. Go back to login. Press login. Enter the coding. The coding for basic settings is basic for all those Bosch modules is 40168. See, it says right over there. 40168 basic settings enabled. That code for most, uh, works for most of uh, the Bosch modules. So you log in. Go to basic settings right away. Make sure your steering wheel is straight. You choose the steering wheel angle sensor alignment. Well, it's not working right now because I already did it, but you should say okay in this field over here. And you could go back, go to your fault codes, see fault codes are gone. So you should be all set. Now exit out of the ABS module. Go to engine control module, scan that, then uh, make sure it didn't leave any codes in here. Good. Then go to transmission control module, scan that as well. No codes there as well. Now you should shut off the car, restart it, see if the lights go away, and scan the ABS system once again. See, I don't have any lights on the dashboard anymore. Restart it, see lights go away. It's a good sign, meaning everything is working okay. Go back to ABS control module, scan it one more time. No codes. Now you could go to for a test drive and you should be all set.